Welcome back to Feast Fight Back. Today's video is the video I have been excited to make for far too long. Good morning. Um, little shout out to him. Um, I'm quite tired this morning. I've got a big day. I don't want to jinx anything, so I'm not going to start this day as I usually do because I just need it to go well. But it's a big day. Um, and I'm just hoping that today goes okay. Um, I've got my teaspoon that says, be your own hero from Hannah. Deep breath, just keep going. I put my special good luck positive socks on, of course. Today's the day and I'm not going to say anything or do anything to jinx it. Um, but about to leave my appointment. Deep breaths. Fingers crossed that the next time I do a talkie video, I will not be crying. <laughs> this was my little outfit of the day. I had my snack in the car on the way, this was my, well half eaten apple by this point, um, and I tried this grenade apple rumble bar, which I actually tried for the first time like three years ago, and then they stopped selling it, and then they bought it back recently. Um, I didn't really like it then, and it wasn't great now, it was quite dry, and the flavour was just not great. I'd rate it like 4 out of 10, maybe a 5 out of 10. Then I had my appointment, and I was wheeled in. And then, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. That's the chair with me not in it. That's right, I got out of the chair. That's me standing up. That is me walking out of the appointment. And me and mum went and had lunch in Greg's. I had my hummus falafel wrap. I had my mini cheddars. Um, and we were just talking and celebrating. Um, I also had my yogurt. And then also had my favourite NYX Crunchy Caramel Bar. Cannot recommend these enough. Probably one of my favourite things to eat. Yeah, me and mum were both very, very happy. And we had a little shop afterwards as a bit of a celebration. And yes, hard work has paid off. We made it. We made it. Well, you are watching this in a different video, which means one thing. I got out of the chair. Um, I'm out of the chair. I am able to walk. That was the wind closing the door. Um, I'm able to walk. Obviously still being careful. I'm not going to go out and suddenly do a 10 mile walk and shop all day or anything like that. Um, but yes, I am finally in a place that I do not need to use the wheelchair. And my gosh, I did not think it would take this long, but here we are. And you know what? I could beat myself up about the fact that it's taken this long, or I could just be proud of myself for getting here and feeling so much stronger. And do you know what? I I get messages, I get a few messages sometimes, and they're a bit like, well, it's taking quite a long time, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah, it is taking longer than I expected, longer than anyone expected, I think, but it's solid. I'm making solid progress. I am making slow but steady progress. And that's the kind of progress that's gonna last. That's not gonna fall apart after a few weeks. That's not gonna fall apart after a few months. And I've always said that this recovery, it's gonna be different this time. And it is, it is. Um, I feel better, I feel different, um, and, and I've had a few challenges the last week, I was by myself quite a lot, and I managed it all, 
and I had one day, and we were talking to my nurse about it today, where I was really struggling. And we were saying a year ago when I was struggling, I didn't tell anyone for months. A few months ago when I was struggling, I didn't tell anyone for a few weeks. Last Thursday when I was struggling, I phoned my mum the second I started feeling off. And they were like, that is huge for you. Because I don't, I don't accept help. I don't ask for help. I don't like getting help. Um, because I feel like a burden and because, because I feel like I should be able to do it all by myself. Um, I don't feel worthy as a person and therefore if I'm feeling off, I don't, I just feel like I drag other people down and I'm just a problem. And I still feel that. But I behaviourally did something different and I reached out for help straight away and it got me through. We ended up FaceTiming my snack, but I had my snack. And today my nurse said, you're out the chair. Um, I don't know how I feel right now other than just happy. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're, um, the plan at the moment is just keep consistent with everything. Um, nothing needs to change at the moment, so just making sure it happens each day. And consistency is actually the hardest part of recovery. It's not the big increased days, it's not the the cheesecakes, it's, it's doing, doing what you need to do, but every single day, no matter how you feel. On the good days, the bad days, the, um... And all the bits in between um but yeah it was a really positive appointment um and i was wheeled in and i walked out um about to go and have my afternoon snack and i'm gonna have a birthday cake brownie because me and mum basically i had two options and i said if i come out the chair i'm having the birthday cake one because we're celebrating and mum was like, you're going to come out the chair tomorrow. And I was like, I think I am. But I still put the other one in just in case. Um, yeah. Celebration time with birthday cake brownies. This is one of my favourites. I know I've reviewed this because I reviewed it recently. Um, and it was absolutely delicious. Uh, me and mum were doing a little code word whilst I was eating, of course. Um, I was feeling really, really just proud that all of the hard work I put in the last month has really really paid off and finally we can return the wheelchair back to the wonderful people that lent it to us. I know I've got loads of questions that I need to answer um, and I will answer them. I don't know if I might do it in a separate video but the one I wanted to answer today is because it's relevant to dinner and it is what's my favourite shape of pasta. So I mean the only pasta shape I really don't like are the duck feet ones uh, because it's a completely different texture on the outside to the middle bit. Um, my favourite has to be rigatoni. Um, I do like penne and I do like the shells but my ultimate favourite pasta shape is giggly and I used to have this all the time and then they stopped doing it and then me and mum went shopping the other day and look what we found. Giggly pasta. I've never had the multicoloured one before, but this is giggly pasta. So I'm having giggly pasta for my dinner tonight. So I'm having my favourite pasta, um, multicoloured. Not sure that'll affect it. Um, I'm also going to try having a burger tonight with my dinner, uh, which we've had in the freezer for about six months. Um, and I'm also having a slightly different dessert. Um, so keeping on going because today I reached a milestone but it's not the end goal so gotta keep going. This was my amazing multicoloured giggly pasta and I switched up my sausages for a burger. Yeah we were actually looking for sausages and then I found the burgers in the freezer and I completely forgotten that we had them so I was like okay I feel like tonight we can do a burger instead. To be honest I didn't like the burger at all but obviously finished it all um, along with my multicoloured giggly pasta. Um, yeah we were just chatting over dinner and realising how far I've come and how much has changed and it was really really nice.
then for my dessert I had like a vanilla pudding pot and it had a Biscoff biscuit in it. This was such a good combination. It wasn't as good as the chocolate and Biscoff biscuit but it was still tasty. I think next time I try it with a chocolate Biscoff biscuit just because I like chocolate and I think it would be better with more chocolate in it. I survived my bit of change of dinner, had my burger with my pasta, my giggly pasta and my um, vanilla custard yoghurt with a Biscoff biscuit. Um, I was going to answer some questions and I might do a Q&A and tag it on another day but I was going to do a bit of an update because um, we had a really good session today. It was challenging but I sort of explained how I was going against the eating disorder at the moment and how I was challenging it and it might not be in these humongous moves well I have made quite a few humongous moves recently um but like how I'm cognitively challenging things and it's things like when my eating disorder tells me to argue about how much food's on the plate like oh that's too much pasta I make a point of scraping my plate clean and saying that was really tasty um if my eating disorder tells me, oh, just shave a bit off that, I don't know, sandwich or something, I make a point of finishing everything on my plate. And um, like my mum fries up vegetables and puts them in my pasta. And oil is a humongous fear food for me. And when I first saw her doing it, I panicked. And I was gonna be like, I can't have that. And instead, instead of ignoring it instead of reacting or anything when we were eating dinner I was like oh, these vegetables are really nice when you cook them in that oil and I'm making a point every time I do that to not only to not only hear my eating disorder and do the opposite but actively actively really go against it and be like do you know what you can say that to me but it's not going to change what I do and it's the same things about um sort of like if I'm choosing bars or something and my eating disorder is going, oh, go for one, go, go for one lower, go for one lower. I make a point of going for the one that's higher because I'm like, you can say that to me, but it's not going to change my behavior this time. Like it's not going to affect me anymore. And I just think we realize that that's, I mean, it's huge progress, but also like how much that's given me power in the battle recently. And I wanted to share that because I thought it might help someone else. Um, so it's sort of opposite actions and it's really helping me um, along with just close the window it's very noisy um, along with just again consistency same thing got to keep doing it got to keep doing it meal plan is the minimum and yeah um, it's been a very long day I'm very excited that this is going to be finally I got out the chair video and yeah Thank you for the people who have stuck by me and just been kind and patient and supportive when I was not being kind or patient with myself because that really helped. Yeah. Very quick interlude of my little cacti on my windowsill. I'm going to try and make this the last little recording bit for this video but I keep on forgetting to say things and then I go away and I'm like oh I forgot to say that. Um, the other real reason it was so important that it definitely happened like you came out the chair today is that um, like when things started really getting better the last few weeks of like my intake and everything, me, mum and dad booked our first little getaway. Um, so at the end of this week, we are going away for a couple of days, um, which will be really nice. Obviously, it holds some of its challenges, but I feel ready for it and it it will be good to get a break. Um, I'm also going to just take a break from filming for a little bit. Um, just a mixture of obviously doing my pasta video which is filming every day um, and then quite a few appointment day videos where I was like I'm coming out of the chair and I didn't and I just felt really really deflated and it was really getting me down. Um, so I'm just feeling a bit tired so I'm just going to take at least a week off filming which will actually hopefully I'll just catch up with where I actually am um, and then I've got some really exciting stuff coming up soon like really 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 exciting um, so I'll probably be filming that next um, but yeah
no, we've got a couple of days away this week and I will see you in the next video. I did some paint by numbers, then I had my night snack and this video I took of me rubbing out my little goal, I actually did a couple of days later, as you can tell by the different nail varnish, um, but I wanted to pop it in this video um, because obviously I got out of the chair um, and I wanted to finish this really good, happy video on this quote, which felt very appropriate.